The Cities by Dave Marsland of Cardiff Theosophical Society The concept of the cities, which originates from ancient Indian spiritual and philosophical traditions, holds a significant place in the realm of metaphysical and mystical practices. The term Siddhi is derived from the Sanskrit word Sid, which means to accomplish or to fulfil, in the context of spiritual and yoga traditions, Siddhis refer to extraordinary powers or abilities that are believed to be attainable through dedicated practice and mastery of specific techniques. The concept of the Siddhis finds its roots in the ancient Indian texts, particularly in the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, which is a foundational text of classical yoga philosophy. In the Yoga Sutras, Patanjali describes Siddhis as supernatural abilities that can be acquired through the practice of yoga, meditation and concentration. These abilities are considered as natural extensions of advanced spiritual practice and are believed to manifest as a result of the purification and refinement of the practitioner's mind and consciousness. Siddhis are traditionally classified into two categories. Ashta Siddhis, the eight primary Siddhis, and Nava Nidhis, the nine types of wealth or treasures. The Ashta Siddhis include Anima, the ability to become smaller than the smallest, Mahima, the ability to become larger than the largest, Garima, the ability to become heavier than the heaviest, Lagima, the ability to become lighter than the lightest. Prapti, the ability to acquire anything. Prakamiya, the ability to fulfil any desire. Ishatva, the ability to control all natural forces. And Vashitva, the ability to subjugate all. On the other hand, Navanidis encompass wealth in the form of strength, memory, devotion, knowledge, renunciation, fame, courage and compassion. The attainment of Siddhis is believed to be a gradual process that requires intense discipline, unwavering concentration and mastery of the mind and body. In the yogic tradition, practitioners undergo rigorous training in various techniques such as asanas, physical postures, pranayama, breath control, dharana, concentration, dhyana, meditation and samadhi, transcendental state. It is through the dedicated practice of these techniques that the aspirant is said to awaken the dormant potential within and eventually gain access to cities. While the acquisition of cities may be alluring, it is emphasised in these spiritual traditions that the pursuit of these powers should be accompanied by a deep sense of ethical responsibility and moral integrity. The misuse or abuse of cities for personal gain or egoistic purposes is considered detrimental to one's spiritual evolution. The true purpose of cities is seen as the expansion of consciousness, self-realisation and the service of humanity rather than mere displays of supernatural prowess. In modern times, the concept of cities has guarded interest from both spiritual seekers and scientific researchers. While traditional practitioners and yogis continue to explore the potential of Siddhis as a means of spiritual awakening and self-transformation, scientific studies have also delved into the phenomenon from a psychological and parapsychological perspective. Research on phenomena such as extrasensory perception ESP, telekinesis and psychokinesis has sparked curiosity about the potential correlation between ancient wisdom and modern scientific understanding. Overall, the concept of Siddhis represents a profound aspect of the spiritual heritage of India, offering a glimpse into the extraordinary potentials of the human mind and spirit. Whether viewed through the lens of ancient wisdom, mystical traditions, ethical considerations or scientific inquiry, cities continue to captivate the imagination and curiosity of individuals on a quest for higher consciousness and spiritual realisation. 
The exploration of cities invites us to contemplate the boundless capacities inherent within the human experience and the interconnectedness of the material and spiritual dimensions of existence.